it was actually a really surreal feeling. These like thousands and thousands of people are holding up my artwork and then all of a sudden they rip it in half. It definitely was kind of weird at first, but then I realized, no, it's an awesome thing. At that moment, I was integrated into this tradition. I actually started off as a cartoonist. Yeah, it was my freshman and sophomore year. I, I loved it, but I kept seeing at the basketball games, there were these really awesome inserts that were being held up by the student section, and it, it was hilarious. They were well done, and I just thought, okay, I like what I'm doing now, but how can I get there? So essentially what the tradition is, when the starting lineup of the visiting team is introduced at our home games, we make fun of them by reading the newspaper. We're like, we'd rather do that than pay any attention to you. There have been some hilarious posters. We try to keep our toe on the line of what's too much. We've actually made a few of the um, coaches on the visiting teams pretty upset <laughs> with some of our posters. Everyone recognizes it. Everyone's like, oh yeah, that's the tradition where they make fun of the other team. And to be able to say that I lead the group that does that is really, really awesome. These are characters that are telling a story. And one way I look at it is, if these basketball games are stories, we are the illustrators of those stories. I think it's just so awesome how, like in Allen Fieldhouse, you get this overwhelming sense of history and goes back so many different generations. I've actually lived in Lawrence my entire life. Um, my parents, both KU grads, yeah, it's just, it's always been a big part of my life, uh, a big part of who I am. What does it mean to be a Jayhawk? Obviously the term Jayhawker, that represented people who fought for what was right. And I think if I were to sum it up in a very simplistic way, I think uh, being a Jayhawk is being proud of who you are.